All right. Um, good day, guys. Um, welcome. So today, I just want to give a breakdown of a trade that I took on gold on the fifteenth of January. Um, my first official trade of the year, and my first official trade in my um signal channel. Just want to give you the breakdown and the thought process. Um, um, on the trade, right, and the reason why I took it from where I took it. Okay. <clears throat> so. I want you to pay attention and ensure to learn from this video, all right? So basically, um, it's just um, structure, right? And um, the patience to wait for um, the necessary um, entry model confirmation before entry. Um, so let me start from, um, look at the bigger time frame on one hour of this um, market. You can see that price was in a downtrend, high, low, um, lower, high. We had a lower, low here. All right, we are the lower high. We are the lower low. We are the lower high. All right. Of course, price traded down. We are the lower low here, yeah, and even price even extended um up to this area. All right. Okay, we are the lower low. Um the lower high, lower low. Okay. So we can see how price was actually um trending towards this area trending downward towards this area um but at the same time um we can see that um price price has actually taken this last significant high of which we might want to call that a break of structure or we might want to say oh price was actually just coming back to grab liquidity but then um price coming back to clear out all this liquidity and um and um here coming to react to this area is um a potential supply for me right if i see possibility of rejection right or a change of direction from this area of course it will give me a possible trade to trade definitely right um because sometimes um when price gives us break of structure it might not necessarily be break of structure it might be a grab of liquidity for price to continue downward um or upward and sometimes when price gives a break of structure it can be an actual break of structure right but then we just need to recognize um control supplies and control demand right so price coming back here to re react to this control supply gave a meaningful reaction immediately i saw a break of structure right on the smaller time frame um let, let's let's check this immediate trend that went up to this supply so this is my supply this is a potential supply this is potential supply right that i wanted to sell from okay so when price got to that supply reacted to that supply um what gave me what gave me highlights to even want to trade from that supply was because i noticed a break of structure when i come down to my 15 minutes look at the immediate trend that went upward here all right if we check this immediate trend that went upward we can see price forming series of higher highs and higher lows higher high higher low higher high higher low and lower low so immediately price did this from this supply okay i started getting interested in this trade okay so this right here is a break of structure this right here is a break of structure so i needed price to go back to premium and probably still give me um, an entry model for a sell so this is break of structure right here just following its time frame by time frame so really price did this of course if you take your fibonacci retracement from your swing guy sorry you take your Fibonacci retracement from your swing high to your swing low. Take it from your swing high here to your swing low. Okay, you will realize that um price is definitely um above um price definitely above um the fifty percent of this range. So that means we are at premium. All right. So I might want to be interested in a sell. Okay, so I don't have a specific PO high, but I know that up here we have a supply. Okay, we have a supply up here, but I don't have a specific PO high. But it's depending on the reaction of price um, that will make me now know um, exactly exactly what to do. The reaction of price will give me an idea of what to do. All right. So this first brick of structure was what I was looking for. Now, um, this is actually my Asian Asian session, right? Price created Asian low, okay? And this is Asian high, right? Asian low and Asian high. So I've said it countless times in some of my videos, right? That Asian highs and lows are, are 
potential liquidity areas, except if price aligns perfectly well with structure, right? But basically, Asian highs and lows are what are mostly liquidity. Okay, if price wants to trade, if price wants to move downward, price might need to grab Asian high to the upside and move downward. If price needs to move upward, price might need to grab Asian um low to the downside before moving upward. There are most times liquidity areas before we eventually expand. So I was waiting for price to actually take out this Asian high so that we can see what to do. But then after price has broken structure, notice the trend upward. All right, notice the trend upward. We're having high, low, higher high. All right, so we some 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 are higher low around here. So if I can get a break, if I can get a break above Asian high and price break structure to the downside, I think I will be ultimately be interested in this trade. All right, so let's see what price did. So all the regions above my Asian high is a potential supply area, all the region. So price just needs to induce Asian high and give me intent to the downside. Then I will be ready to want to initiate a trade. So let's see what price did. So we can see what price did here. Price induced Asian high, as I've said. Price induced Asian high, as I've said. Grab liquidity of Asian high, tap into the supply. It doesn't matter whether you see any um pure supply, candlestick or whatsoever. No, the whole region around here is is good enough to drive price to the downside. So this is another break of structure here. This is what confirms that we are actually moving down. Okay, this is the confirmation that we are moving down. So this is this is the second BOS. So this was the intent, right? And of course, this movement, you know, it's all about time frame correlation, how to relate the time frame of how to relate um, the structure of different time frames together. So price breaking structure here um give me that um that um, assurance to now want to spot out for entry. All right. And of course, once price has given a change of direction like that, you now want to spot out for liquidity areas, okay, that you can actually um sell from. All right. And if you remember my knowledge on valid pullback, if you don't understand valid pullback, Please go back to my YouTube and check. So let's check the structure that came back to break, break this final structure. So we have high, right? Low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay. So the concept of my valid pullback is that um price must have to induce the liquidity of the immediate um immediate high, right? for me to confirm my sell. So if I actually want to sell, the wrongest place for me to sell, right, is this last significant high here. You know, some of you want to say, oh, structure higher and lower highs and lower lows, and the last significant high is, is your last structural point that you must sell from. No, for my concept of value pullback, price has to induce the last significant high. So I don't want to sell at the last significant high. I would rather look for a POI above. So this is the last significant high here, right? This is the last significant high here, all right? This is the last significant high here. So I am interested in selling above the last significant high. Oh, sorry. I am interested in selling above the last significant high. So this is the last significant high, all right? So that is a liquidity area for me, all right? So I now need to spot out for zones above, all right? So my first zone here, Okay, is this supply that I have above here? All right, so this is my first entry, and my second entry is just going to be the extreme. Let me go to five minutes and see if I'll see a clear order block. So, coming to five minutes, this is a clear order block. All right, and you might want to take it with the imbalance. So, this is my second entry. All right, so um, there is every reason for me to actually want to risk a sell now on this trade. So, um the stop loss I gave was just 17 pips, okay? And my first major target is what? Is the Asian low. Price has grabbed Asian high. I might need to go and grab Asian low. So this is my first, this is my first um, take profit. And of course, I am also interested in this um, extreme zone. Price might eventually use the zone too, all right? So, and um, I have my take profit here. 
So that's my first tick profit. And my second tick profit is actually this low down here. All right, this low down here, because since we have broken structure, we might need to come and form a lower low. And this was posted, this was posted in my signal channel and you can see that right there. So let's see what price actually did. Okay, I was hoping for price to actually activate it during New York because this is actually London. This is Asian. This is London. So I was hoping this was going to be New York entry. 17 pips. Seven, this was 17 pips as well, not 15. Give, give it a little breathing space. So 17 pips. So first take profit is actually 5R. Uh, 5 R, all right. So let's see. Let's see what price did. So I was hoping for price to activate during New York. And... um. Price didn't actually activate during New York and um, it activated much later. It activated much later. Let's see what price actually did. So price came and activated, right? You can see that price actually activated. All right, price activated. So price activated around... Your yeah, price activated uh, at the at the end of um, New York session, right? And we're actually approaching Asian session. But then, um, you know, timing is only very important, right? When market has done what it wants to do. So it doesn't matter the time your trade activates. As long as it is right, that is the perfect time for you to execute it. And um, so we are all went to sleep and price um, did what it had to do and of course traded downward and um we hit our we hit our take profit first take profit all right so this is how simple the trade is and we've secured five r from this first entry and we are hoping to um take more profit for those that have multiple position at the second take profit table this is just the basic simple analogy um of the trade you can see my entry right there on the screen right you can see my entry right there on the screen and everybody profited from this trade all right guys um so after a brief moment i just checked the trade now um price hit tp1 gave a little reaction right and um tanked it down to hit tp2 all right so we've secured um all the profits that we that we needed to to secure this was around 160 pips and it's around 85 pips so this is 5r and um this is about 9r right so it doesn't get any better guys so hope you enjoyed the video have a wonderful day have a wonderful time happy trading